Well guys, Dr. Dual Sport, this is day two of the Trail Taker Rim Rocker event. We just left Buckeye Reservoir after having a delicious breakfast of huge sausage, potato, egg, uh, breakfast burritos. We're now over towards the, uh, we're, well, we're actually on the LaSalle mountain and we're uh, going to kind of skirt around the edge of the LaSalle mountain on the south side and then we go, uh, we'll actually uh, kind of go past the town of LaSalle. I, I, I don't uh, think we go right through it. We just kind of parallel it. Well, there's the peak. But uh, anyway, this is a beautiful morning. It's kind of a what I would call a zen experience. When I ride, when I ride through the quaking ass trees, you know, with the sun coming through, the little glimmer of the sun, you know, it's I, I really enjoy it. It's relaxing. And anyway, it's uh, just beautiful up here this time of year. The the air is so cool and fresh. I'm loving it. But there's eight in our group today. We had uh, let's see one bike, one KLR. Anthony he he decided to go around the other way on the uh, highway along with the sag wagon, and uh, because some areas of this uh, going down on the Moab side are is quite are quite rocky, for what I've been told. So he uh, he didn't want to do those real rocky sections. Anyway, it's a beautiful morning. Ride along with us. We'll uh, see. So there's eight in our group. I'm riding next to last. Richard's riding sweep. Let's see, Mark is the lead again, so... Anyway, everything is good. Yeah, I'm just, I don't know, just beautiful sights. It just kind of blows me away, but I'm loving it. Anyway, right along with us. I'll check in with you here down the road just a, just a bit. we've kind of gone around the corner of the LaSalle and then uh, Mark promised us that we could have a trail with lots of rocks. So <laughs> anyway, we've, we've been on rocks for about 10 miles. Uh, it's like uh, Babyhead City, so makes it a little more interesting. You gotta kind of pay attention a little bit. <laughs> now we're dropping down uh, I think that's you know, like LaSalle down in the valley there. I don't know. I don't believe that we go down right to LaSalle. I think we kind of skirt it, but we'll see. Oh my gosh, rocks. Let's get some more rocks. Yeah, we got lots of rocks. Anyway, we got a good group today. They're, everybody's moving along pretty good, you know, so we're able to kind of pretty much stay together. I'm, uh, I usually go last, you know, other than, you know, Richard riding sweep right behind me, so. But I'm in no hurry. But I, when I catch up to them, it's, uh, you know, they haven't been waiting too long, so. Might as well enjoy the ride. Yeah, you can see they're over on the switchback over there. see the big old LaSalle's above us there. Anyway, <laughs> guess I gotta 
kind of pay attention to the rocks. One of them rocks might eject me here at any time. You know, you do your best. You pick your line, but you still got to prepare, be prepared for a rock to flip up. change the direction that you're going so Sometimes the bike just goes where it wants to go and then you gotta just let it go. So. Mark proves true to his word. He said we would have rocks, and we have had rocks. <laughs> anyway, enough of that for a minute. We'll see you up the road a bit. Well, here we are at the end of the Rim Rocker. The Rim Rocker Trail come takes you right into the south south end of Moab. Links you right up with uh, Spanish Trail Drive, which we're on here. It's kind of like a old road in Moab. There, we're gonna follow it around, and it'll take us around. Uh, it's just just before you get to the San Flats Road, then it uh, we hang right and uh, take us up to the Pack Creek Campground. So we're gonna go. Go to Pack Creek, probably get our tents and everything all set up, and maybe grab some lunch and go ride somewhere this afternoon. So, if you ever get a chance to ride the Rim Rocker, don't pass it up. It's a, a great trail with a, a lot of variety. 
and that's pretty much it's all dirt all the way once you get off the oil the just a little teeny bit there if you drop down into uh, Norco you know and then there was a about a mile or less where we crossed over the 141 there so on the Red Rock Canyon it's got a, lot, a variety there's very so scenic you know and uh, today was really fun it was uh, a bit challenging a lot of loose rock and, uh, but this morning first thing was so beautiful coming through the quake and ass there up at the 10,000 foot level anyway it's a great trail you can what's what's neat about it you can do it on your uh, motorcycle you can do it on your Jeep four-wheeler side by side whatever you know just pick your boys and you know it's all good anyway thanks thanks for riding along today please like subscribe comment if you wish headed for the campground talk to do sport signing out